John writes in John chapter one, he says, in the beginning was the word. Speaking of Jesus, he says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. He says, through him, all things were created. And without him, nothing was made that has been made. And in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. That's the first few verses. But if you go down to verse 14, it says that word, Jesus, that was in the beginning, there comes a time where the word became flesh. And that verse 14 says, and dwelt amongst us. And that's where we get the word, the name Emmanuel means God with us, God among us. But here's, here's the mind boggling thing when we arrive in Luke uh, chapter two is the creator of the world leaves eternity to enter into the world in order to redeem the world that he created. And yet the world does not have room for the one that created the world. That interesting last verse of that first passage that there was no room for him in the guest house. There was no room for him in the inn. Um, this, this picture of Mary carrying in her womb, not the next president of the United States, not the next pop star, like she's carrying in her womb the only savior of the the world, the only redeemer, the only only Messiah she is carrying in her womb and yet she has nowhere to lay him. The Bible records right there in that passage that uh, he was laid in a manger. And we know what a manger is, right? It's it's a box uh, that horses and cattle eat from because there was no room. And, And I can't help when I look at this passage and read it, Um, to to just wonder if there was a revelation of the one who had now come into the world, If if there was a revelation, a true understanding of who he was and who was entering into the earth, you could imagine the anticipation, you could imagine the effort that that people would go to and the extremes that people would go to to make way. I mean, we roll out red carpets for celebrities. We're talking about if we had a revelation, if they had a revelation of who Jesus was, who was in the womb, who was, was getting ready to be born and come into the earth, they would have intentionally cleared the way. They would, have, they would have went into every inn and every hotel and every housing place screaming, make room the savior of the world, the creator of the world who was in the beginning, who was with God and was the word, the eternal word is taking on the flesh of man to dwell amongst us, to redeem us. They would have made room. And that's the challenge of the gospel, right? It's the challenge of the gospel is Jesus has come. Will we make room? Will we make room in our hearts? Will we make room in our homes? Will we make room in our family, right? Not not just figuratively and not just theologically because we're Christians. No, no, no. Will we practically make room? Will we clear space for Jesus in our homes and in our families? Is there space for prayer? Is there space to seek Him, to know Him? Is there, is there room in our home and the, the functionalities of our families? Is there, realistically, let's be honest, is there room for devotion? Is there room for surrender? That is the challenge. That is the cry of our hearts. That really is the focus of this entire project is Lord today is Christmas today is Advent today is the day that we reflect that you became flesh and entered into the world and we want to intentionally take time today to make room for you to make room for the Savior